good morning everybody it's another great day here at rhino usa we got the truck and trailer all loaded up i don't know if you can see it it's about 6 30 in the morning so we're getting an early start we're headed to overland expo east to bring you the viewer the finest in power sports accessories so without further delays let's get on down the road we'll see when we get there set up here at Overland Expo. We've got our HD tie-down kits, the ultimate recovery kits, kinetic ropes, a bunch of stickers, show specials. There's Ray, the master salesman. <laughs> Snatch blocks, gonna have a great day today. Weather's beautiful, a little cool this morning. But we are all set up. What's going on, everybody? Another great day at Rhino USA. Out here at day two at Overland Expo. Day one, I didn't get much chance to film any video. We were pretty busy getting set up and getting into some shenanigans, having a few beers. So I'm getting after it bright and early this morning to show you guys what's been going on these past few days. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get to checking out some cool rides. I wanted to take a minute to show you guys one of my favorite rigs here at Overland Expo. It's this Bronco that they've done kind of a throwback scheme on. So it's like got the woody siding on it, but if you look up under it, it's very capable and equipped with modern technology. You got some King Bypass shocks on there, the big wide fender flares, ARB bumpers. Ugh, just a nice rig, really well put together. a so pretty cool bike it's got some really nice graphic design work on it that sun's kind of killing me but that's all right i love seeing a little bit of a custom ride something that someone's put a little bit of artwork into this is roaming lost creative services lots of in-bed campers too all sorts of stuff. I'm glad I didn't bring my billfold. <laughs> I'd be spending every dollar I had on this cool stuff. Yeah, you never know though, right? The Land Rovers are another popular rig that people have been outfitting for overland setups. Kind of cool seeing a little bit of variety. Usually we just do Jeep events, so interesting to see a couple of new vehicles. There's a Defender over here that's kind of flexed out that I want to show you guys. Oh, garage sale. Deals, deals, deals. That's what I like. They've got some behemoths out here too. We'll go check those out in just a minute. But this Defender, I'm very surprised at the amount of suspension travel it has for an independent suspension rig. He's got the chainsaw mounted to the bumper. That's sick. And an old school Warren winch but very impressed with the amount of suspension travel this thing has. Got the Steelies, nice rig. Not a huge Ford fan, but this is a nice rig. Got the wide body kit on it. Good stance, six, seven power stroke. A lot of cool Fords out here. And then we've got the behemoth rigs as I've been calling them. I don't know exactly what you'd call these uh, military expedition vehicles. That's actually a Mercedes, but they've got some Stewart and Stevensons, some Unimogs, bunch of cool stuff. These are just absolute tanks. And here's another one of those cool rigs. This one's got like a sponsorship package, I guess, or some sort of cool rat job. The one thing that caught my eye, they had the cab popped yesterday, but it's got a cat diesel in it which I thought was really cool. And it's a Stewart and Stevenson, so probably used to be a military truck at some point and got converted into this really cool rig. So it even looks like, I thought that was a wood stove or something for a second. I don't even know what that is. I'm not a diesel mechanic by any means. 
There's another one over there. We got a cool Mitsubishi van right here. I like seeing the stuff that not a lot of folks have, like the Jeep Gladiators and everything. It's kind of a dime a dozen now, but someone obviously put a lot of work into this and I think it turned out really cool. It's the last of the behemoth rigs. I even got the hammock hanging off the back of it. Really cool wrap job. They've got a back porch with a grill. You wouldn't be able to pull me off of it if this was my rig. I'd be sitting out there having some beers, cooking some steaks, having a good old time. Another cat powered diesel too. I don't know if this one is a Stewart and Stevenson. It looks like they might've taken the badges off the front, but cool rig nonetheless. The Rivians are also making a name for themselves. We've been seeing a lot of these decked out. These are just kind of some factory models it looks like, but the sport utility vehicle version is kind of interesting. One of the first things I noticed is the active suspension. It's got airbags on it, but the lift on it is basically just a big spacer. So kind of a cool design that they've got going on here for the Rivians. Nice color on that one. This one definitely is one of the more unique rigs. I gotta say, I really like it. Ford Tough, got the old school KC lights on there. Some custom artwork. Just kind of cool. Definitely a ranch feel to it. King Ranch. Ooh, look, they've even got a, a horse back here. Looks like they've got some deer pelts and all sorts of other stuff to make this guy up. Little kitchen area, some prop guns, some barbed wire. I definitely like to see the cool artwork that people kind of adorn their rides with. Makes it stand out, gives it a little unique feel. Something else cool I've never seen before. It's like an old VW bus, but kind of a new school update. Probably electric, but kind of a cool ride. Definitely lots of Jeep Gladiators here. Toyotas. That seems to be the bulk of what uh, people are building their rigs on. No full size Jeeps today, unfortunately, but uh, I did meet the trail recon guy, so that was pretty cool. He didn't have his rig out here, but I can't blame him for not wanting to drive a 50 year old truck all the way from Arizona. And I know I was just talking about how the Jeep gladiators are kind of played out, but I really like this one. It kind of reminds me of I don't know, kind of got an old school feel to it with the BFGs. Big Fox shocks on here. Some sway bars. Probably got PSC on it if I had to take a guess. Nope, actually it doesn't. That's the BFG booth. Got a cool Land Cruiser. I don't know what the series are. They've got too many series of Land Cruisers for me to be able to tell you exactly what it is 70 series and 80 series tanner if you're watching this sorry bud <laughs> got a cool ford ranger we're starting to see these kind of come onto the scene a little bit not a ton of aftermarket support for them yet but it looks like arb is probably the first on the scene got the bumper skid plates maybe the arb snorkel i don't know bronco flexed out lots of broncos Here's another really cool rig. It's this, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. I guess it's like a concept Bronco that they kind of did up like the old school ones. I think the mag reel, wheels really just pull this together with the pinstriping, the white grill. Just a really clean look. Real slick ride. This is the Ford booth. They've got all sorts of cool stuff. I think this one's the Raptor. It's kind of the big rig section. Got a nice, uh, I guess it's an F550 probably. Maybe an old ambulance or something that they've converted. Here's another one of those behemoth rigs. Pretty cool. This would be a luxury living if you were a full-time overlander. Yep, there's another one of those Rivians. Kind of decked out more of an Overlander. Might have to get some stock with them if uh, I keep seeing these pop up in the 
Overland Sphere. The Toyota booth. One of the things I really like about their vehicles they've been showing off, it's got the 80s retro paint scheme on them, kind of like the old Toyota pickups did. So I like that they're getting back to their roots. Here's another one of the Forerunners with some cool pinstriping on it. My buddy Ben's actually over there working the Toyota booth. You can see him. Mr. Backwards Hat, cool guy. Got a nice Tacoma here. Lots of Tacomas. And before I forget to show you guys, here's the Rhino USA Overlander rig. This is Ray's personal truck. It's a F-150 twin turbo V6. It's got the voodoo racking system on it. Rhino USA rooftop cargo bag. The uh, roto packs and kind of a ghost wrap uh, color scheme to it on the fuel wheels. Nitto Ridge Grapplers. We actually got to park in the Nitto booth, which I think is pretty cool. We're starting to make a name for ourselves and some of the bigger guys are catching on. So this is a display vehicle for the Nitto booth today. A couple of cool accessories at the ARB truck. It's some sort of a air jack. I haven't seen something like that before. Kind of cool. Got the four wheel deflator, inflator system. Nice rooftop tent. And the camp kitchen from ARB. Got their fridge. Lots of cool stuff. Slide out canopy. Here's one of the new gen Tacomas. Kind of got a cool front grill on them. Something a little bit different from the Toyota lineup. Big old coilovers. 37s. This thing's pretty geared up. Now this is quite the rig. F550. Probably an old ambulance chassis that they put the camper cab on. They've got a big patio up there. Have a little deck party and then come inside. Big old continental tires. Trust axles. Big control arms. Two-piece drive shaft liquid springs for the low price of $400,000. Pretty cool. And they got the slide out back patio area too. I like the don't tread on me decals they've got on it. The spare tire also has the don't tread on me decal. Kind of nice integrated design there. Got some live music by Toyo Tires. And a great view. Here, cheers, Joe. What a beautiful day to be alive. Just wrapped up day two. Having a couple of beers from the Blue Toad Hard Cider Brewery. Pretty good. Lots of local breweries up here to check out. So, if you guys are ever in the Arrington area, stop in and uh, support some local business.